Amidst the energy crisis of the 1970s, American cities were trying to improve public works and decrease reliance on fossil fuel guzzling automobiles. Some urban planners had a one-track mind, a monorail. The Massachusetts-based defense contractor Raytheon sent a proposal to the federal government to build a monorail system in Lowell in 1973. Running above the canals on a new Raytheon motor, this elevated railway would service downtown and their proposed recycling plant. For years to come, the monorail would be tangled in bureaucracy and even spark a dispute between congressional candidates Paul Cronin and Paul Songus. Due to issues with planning and funding, the Lowell monorail never got on track, so Raytheon attempted its project elsewhere to no avail. In the 80s and 90s, the Sun newspaper would continue to print op-eds asking about the little train that could have been.